Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is curve fitting, fitting of polynomial. This topic is from third unit statistics. See what is curve fitting? The process of binding the curve of base fit, which is most suitable for predicting the unknown values, is known. as curve fitting the method of least squares the method of least square is the most systematic procedure to fit a unique curve through the given points so this is the concept of least square method of least square the method of least square it is the most systematic procedure to fit a unique curve through the given points now here we are going to fit A straight line and parabola for the given points. First, straight line. If the curve to be fit is a straight line, y is equal to a plus b x, then the normal equations are: when we are to fit a curve, the curve specific a straight line. And it is in the form of y is equal to a plus b x, and b are the constants. Then the normal equations to fit the straight line y is equal to a plus b x are here. Summation y is equal to n into a plus b into summation x. And second normal equation is summation x y is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square. So these are the normal equations. to fit a straight line now the example to fit straight line the example is here fit a straight line y is equal to a plus bx to the following data the data is given the set of points are given the set of points for the variable x and y so these points are given here The values of x are zero, one, two, three, and the corresponding values of y are here two, five, eight, eleven. Now we have to fit the straight line y is equal to a plus b x for the data. The curve to be fit is a straight line y is equal to a plus b x, and so the normal equations are here. Summation y is equal to n into a plus b into summation x, and the second normal equation is here. Summation x y is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square. now you construct the table here the first row is sorry first column is for variable x then second column is for y then uh, in normal equations the terms are here summation xy summation x square summation x so you construct the column Summation x square also to calculate summation x square. Again, summation x we want summation x y. So you construct the column x into y. So that you will get the value of summation x y, and then do the calculations. See the table here. The columns are x y, x square, and x y here. Then uh, in last you find the uh, addition of all the values means summation summation x summation y summation x square summation x square summation means summation x means addition of all the values of x it is six here summation y means addition of all the values of y it is equal to twenty six summation x square means you take the square of every element in uh, first column means uh, every element x that will be x square. And then you do the addition. The addition of all the elements uh, in x square column, which is equal to fourteen. Summation x y means x into y. The column x into y. You do the addition of all the elements, and that is equal to fifty four here. So summation x y is fifty four. Now you put all the values in these normal equations. So first normal equation is summation y is equal to summation y means it is twenty six here. See summation y is value is twenty six. It is equal to So n into a n means number of elements. How many values are given? One, two, three, four. Four values are given of x and y. So put n is equal to four. 
four points are given. Four into a plus b into summation x. B as it is, summation x is six. So it is four a plus six b. And then second normal equation is here summation x y is equal to summation x y is here fifty four. So you write here fifty four is equal to a into summation x. Summation x is six. So it is six a plus b into summation x square. Summation x square is here fourteen. So it is plus fourteen b. So equation one and two. These are the normal equations here. They are in terms of a and b. Now you solve for a and b. These two equations, equation number one and two. How to solve? You multi. Uh, we are going to eliminate the uh, arbitrary constant a so that we have the value of b. How to uh, eliminate a? You just multiply equation number one by three and second equation by two, and then just do the subtraction. See. The calculations are here. Solving equation one and two. If you multiply equation number one by three, the equation will be seventy-eight uh, is equal to twelve a plus eighteen b. And if you multiply equation number two by two, then the equation will be one zero eight is equal to twelve a plus twenty-eight b. Now you do the subtraction of these two equations. We do the subtraction. That twelve a minus twelve a get cancelled. And the subtraction is minus thirty is equal to minus ten b. We are doing the subtraction, so you change the sign of second equation every uh, change the sign of every term in second equation. And so we have the equation minus thirty is equal to minus ten b. And so the value of b is if we solve this equation, b is equal to three. Now put b is equal to three in equation number one. In equation one or two, because we want the value of a. So, if we put the value of b is equal to three in equation number one, see what is equation number one? Twenty-six is equal to four a plus six b. Here you put b is equal to three. So the equation is twenty-six is equal to four a plus six b. Twenty-six is equal to four a plus six into three because the value of b is three. If we solve it, simplify it, then the equation is twenty-six is equal to four a plus six three is eighteen. And so four a is equal to eight because twenty six minus eighteen is eight. And so a is equal to two. So the value are here. A is equal to two and b is equal to three. So the equation uh, to fit is a straight line and it is in the form of y is equal to a plus b x. So you have put a is equal to two and b is equal to three. And so the equation of straight line is here. Y is equal to two plus three x. So this is the answer. So this is the question of. How to fit a straight line for the given set of points? Here, the second uh, example is fit a straight line y is equal to a plus b x to the following data. You take it as a homework to try to solve this uh, example. And so, you fit a straight line for the given uh, set of points. And so, the session of that how to fit a straight line for the given set of points is over here. Thank you.